how to use super party and GNS3. So when you install GNS3, it comes with party by by default, and I think uh, so party included with GNS3 and solar party included with GNS3 downloaded from yeah. So that's the uh, default. I mean, that's the uh, terminal that uh, you have by default. But uh, if you want to use a multi-tab terminal like uh, Super Party, you can download it from this link here. And once downloaded, you can, I already have downloaded it. You can just uh, copy all the files and paste them into uh, the GNS3 folder. So in my case, uh, my GNS3 folder is located in this. I mean, it's this. This is my GNS3 folder. And you can actually just right click on GNS3 icon and choose open file location, which is this here open file location. And then, so, okay, I'm going to just copy and paste this, these uh, files into the GNS3 uh, folder. And I'm just gonna say, so I already, I already copied them. Uh, uh, already, yeah, in the past or earlier, but I'm gonna say replace. <laughs> Continue. Okay, and next is open GNS3 and go to uh, GNS3, go to preferences, general console applications and then choose uh, console settings from console settings section, choose edit, and then choose super putty, and then uh, okay, uh, okay, apply, okay. So click okay, apply and okay. And then now we can actually, I have two routers here in GNS3 and I can try to console into R1. And yeah, so now I'm using Super Putty. And next is, the next thing that you can do is go to, from Super Putty, go to Tools, Options, uh, <clears throat> well, actually, this is not this is not going to work. Um, the first time that you console into a router, in this, uh, in my case, R1, you have to actually uh, go to Tools, Options, and then locate the putty in your computer. So in my case, it is because it comes GNS3 comes with Putty, so it's located in the GNS3 folder. So yeah, you just have to browse it here, and then just click open. I'm not gonna do it again, and then yeah, that's how you uh, basically uh, browse to the uh, Putty.exe. And then, in, and then next is go to go with tab. Uh, this is basically because this here is you see a lot of things here, like you see the IP address, you know, and the, I think this is the port, yeah. So if you want to see just the name, uh, you can go to you know uh, GUI tab uh, tabs and docking and then choose dynamic. So if I choose dynamic, I click OK, 
now you see just the, the host name and DNS3. And then last thing that you can do is go to uh, so from from super party window go to tools options advanced and then well in my case uh, this option here application behavior uh, only allow single instance of parties super party to run it's already selected in my case but just in case it's not selected, you just have to tick it and then click, click OK. So this is basically when you open another, I mean, when you open, uh, yeah, another terminal or console connection. Uh, let's say I'm going to open, I'm going to console into R2. Yeah, so it's going to be that uh, this way. So, but uh, if, let me just show it to you. Uh, if I select that and then just open a console into router two, you see that it opened a, another instance of super putty. And that's not what you want, right? You want to have a multi-tabbed terminal like uh, like the earlier, so uh, like I showed you earlier. So I'm going to just close and then go back and then advanced and then uh, just uh, click this again. So allow single instance of super party to run, then click OK and then console into R2 again. And then, yeah, that's the behavior that you want to to see and of course you can do that command and that command and you can use this window here or box to basically <clears throat> let me see show route show IP route so it will run on both uh, routers all right, that's it in this video. Thanks for watching.